about see where he's like sticking his hand down in there? Yeah. That's where one of the ports is for, for the for the ghost foundation. Um, so it's all manual, um, and it's an unstabilized platform. So. So the training we're conducting today is part of our return to water operations. Uh, it is a crawl, walk, run approach to safely getting AAVs back uh, into the water and conducting integration training with infantry and eventually working with L-Class shipping with the Navy. Now, the training that we're conducting out here today at the beach uh, is part of that training. Uh, it is a series of drills that the Marines will be conducting, which includes uh, rigging vehicles for tow in the water, as well as conducting troop transfers side to side, uh, side to safety boat, as well as to uh, rough sea transfers, which will go from AAV to AAV and AAV to boat. Life preserver unit uh, to include CO2 cartridges that inflate uh, when pulling the ripcord, as well as a uh, additional HESP bottle that the individual wearing the life preserver unit can use, uh, which gives them a couple uh, extra minutes of air in the event that they need to use the system. So the mission of the AAV community is to land the surface assault elements of the landing force and their equipment in a single lift from assault shipping during amphibious operations to inland objectives. We also conduct mechanized operations as well as any related combat support to subsequent operations ashore. 
we give the Marine Corps its amphibious identity. Uh, we are the only organic uh, surface connector that the Marine Corps owns that provides uh, that amphibious lift from naval L-class shipping uh, to the beach and to further inland objectives. I would say the vehicles now are safer than they were years ago. Uh, we are undergoing the RUCA program. We're getting vehicles from depot level maintenance from Barstow and Albany. Uh, and our deadline criteria is uh, definitely more stringent. For example, uh, we used to have uh, only three operating bilge pumps in order to get into any body of water. That uh, requirement is now up to four bilge pumps. Um, so the seals are a lot tighter on the vehicles. Watertight integrity um, is, is very key. Uh, to get the infantry comfortable with getting back into AAVs and eventually splashing off the back of a ship uh, working with that L-class shipping. The amphibious assault vehicle uh, is an amphibious tractor which the Marine Corps uses as an organic platform to move from ship to shore and from shore to objective. Uh, we can embark 21 loaded uh, combat infantry in the back of each uh, vehicle in the uh, personnel variant uh, and we basically splash off the back of L-class shipping, such as LHAs, LHDs, LPDs, and uh, LSDs. Uh, we use the sea as maneuver space uh, and land on the beach and go feet dry and then carry the infantry uh, to their inland objectives and support their uh, ground scheme maneuver with our heavy machine guns. The uh, purposes of this training is to uh, return to water operations uh, and safely get back to conducting amphibious operations in support of uh, the infantry. Uh, basically the crawl walk run approach that I mentioned uh, is focusing basic blocking and tackling skills. Uh, we as AM trackers need to uh, be proficient in, in order to conduct our jobs. It focuses on 1,000 to 2,000 level training and readiness standards uh, spread across day and night uh, operations in the Courthouse Bay Jetty as well as the New River and the Onslow Beach. Uh, some of the Marines, uh, some of the obstacles that they have faced while they are out here uh, is, is pretty much getting back in the saddle when it comes to conducting amphibious operations. It was nearly a year uh, that we were not in the water and the Marines had to then brush up on those amphibious skills uh, that had attrited over that uh, approximate year of not getting into the water. Uh, at first, they went through a practical application process and in classroom instruction, uh, and then eventually gaining proficiency in those 1,000 to 2,000 level TNR standards. Uh, this training can definitely be applied in real world operations um, due to the fact that uh, troop transfers and uh, rigging for tow in bodies of water such as the jetty, the New River, uh, and the ocean happen all the time. Vehicles can go down due to maintenance, uh, and then hence vehicles will have to be towed to the nearest safe haven, whether that is the beach uh, or a splash point or a naval vessel. Troops might have to be uh, transferred in a real world emergency situation, uh, whether that be side to side or AAV to boat or AAV uh, to AAV or boat in rough sea. Uh, conditions. So the, all the training we're conducting out here today is applicable to real world scenarios because we have done this in real world scenarios before. Uh, so the next step for these Marines will basically move on to night ocean ops, conducting those 1000-2011 TNR standards. Uh, for the community, once the platoon has reached the 1000-2000 level TNR standards for both day and night ocean, they will then start looking towards working with infantry uh, and working with them in the water. That includes dry rehearsals on our ramp, conducting uh, egress procedures before doing the uh, real world procedures here off of uh, uh, in bodies of water. Uh, so proficiency in this training makes the battalion more lethal because we have honed uh, those attrited skills and we now have brilliance in the basics and we are good at conducting those basic blocking and tackling skills at the individual level which will then build on our crew level uh, which we will build our crew level and then section level and ultimately platoon level uh, TNR standards when we go to work with infantry.
This training that we've been conducting uh, is working toward the end state of getting back to that comfort level both in the AAV community as well as the infantry community uh, with getting infantry in the back of Amtrak's and back in the water and splashing off of naval shipping. Uh, it's also giving the U.S. Navy a comfort level uh, to work with the Marine Corps again and conduct those amphibious operations with L-class shipping.